In a quiet town called Ravensbrook, Dr. Victor Kane, a smart but unusual scientist, worked in his dark laboratory. He was eager to understand the mysteries of life and decided to do an experiment that would change science and bring fear to the town. One stormy night, with lightning flashing, Dr. Kane mixed biology and strange alchemy. He injected a dead mass with a serum he made. Unknown to him, this experiment woke up something old and evil hiding in the shadows. The lab buzzed with strange energy as machines worked, and vials bubbled with mysterious mixes. Dr. Ken, with wild eyes, gave life to a creature made of flesh and metal. As it came to life, the room filled with growls and the scientist saw the horrifying thing he had created. Scared by what he did, Dr. Kane stepped back. The creature, its eyes cold, looked at its creator with a mix of curiosity and hunger. The once silent lab now echoed with the creature's roars as it broke free. The town, unaware of the terror, slept peacefully not knowing what was about to happen. The next morning, chaos erupted in Ravensbrook. Strange howls filled the air, and scared people came out of their homes. The creature, bigger than buildings, moved strangely, casting a dark shadow over the once quiet streets. In panic, Dr. Kane realized his mistake. Wanting to fix it, he gathered brave townsfolk to confront the monster. Armed with improvised weapons, they faced the creature that destroyed their town. The creature, hungry for destruction, attacked with mutated tendrils, tearing through buildings. The air smelled of fear and the cries of the terrified. Dr. Ken, facing the result of his ambition, wanted to undo the horror in the midst of chaos he realized he needed to reverse the experiment. With fear and determination, he guided the team to his lab. The creature followed, leaving destruction behind. In a bid to save the town, they recreated the experiment with an antidote to neutralize the creature. As lightning cracked the sky again, they injected the monster. A shudder passed through the creature as the antidote worked. It convulsed, its roars turning into cries of pain. Slowly, the monster disintegrated, leaving behind a feeling of regret and destruction. As the echoes of the creature faded, Ravensbrook stood silently, bearing scars from the nightmarish ordeal. Dr. Kane, once a smart scientist, now carried the weight of a town changed by his experiment, a lesson in the dangers of scientific pride.